hello friends welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to see an uh, interesting topic uh, how we can make use of ansible to deploy docker containers okay so we have seen uh, tutorials on uh, ansible separately docker separately so if you don't know how to set up ansible or uh, uh, you don't know about docker please check my playlist i will link those in my video description okay so specifically in this tutorial what we are going to do is uh, we have an ansible machine okay and we'll be writing an ansible playbook and uh, using the ansible playbook uh, you know we'll be deploying a mysql docker container on a docker machine okay so the docker machine will be the host uh, which we in, in, in which we are going to run the uh, ansible commands okay so uh, we have a um, main ansible machine where we'll be configuring the host which on, on what, which are the host this uh, ansible playbook has to be run and uh, i will show you all those things uh, in the uh, practical session okay but i would uh, request you if you don't know about uh, ansible and docker please uh, have a look in my uh, videos on that so you'll get to know on that okay so before i get into this actual uh, tutorial i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet or if you are new to my channel uh, kindly support uh, by subscribing liking this video share and comment so as i said uh, there are uh, two machine one uh, is an uh, ansible machine so in this machine i have ansible installed okay and uh, i have the host configure in uh, the location uh, slash etc ansible and we have the host file so as i said just have a look on my ansible tutorial i will have explained how to do all these things so i have a uh, test servers uh, collection right in this uh, this machine uh, 146 is configured right and uh, this 146 is my uh, docker machine okay or so if i go to the next machine this is my other machine okay so if you see this is the 146 ip address machine okay so in this machine i have the docker uh, installed so if i go this is the docker version uh, but i don't have any docker containers running okay or not a dead containers okay so what i want to do is uh, i want to uh, create a docker container on this machine usually i can do it using docker run command or using a docker compose or if it's a docker storm you can use docker stack or those kind of things okay so but uh, here what i want to do is i want to automate that using an ansible uh, playbook okay so i'm not going to do anything on this machine but i'll be creating a playbook over on the ansible machine and i'll run it from here so it will create a container on my docker uh, no, uh, host okay so let me go to the uh, playbook okay so uh, let me go through the playbook so you can get a clear understanding on that and i will also link the my github location for this playbook in the video description so you can uh, download this playbook from there okay so as you know the playbook you know uh, we have to define the host on which this playbook has to be run so i have the test servers collection and i'm going to run it with the root user so if you are going to use a different user please use the that user and you can uh, make it as a root permission using become yes uh, parameter okay and i'm going to define a variable uh, called db volume okay it's called uh, db underscore data uh, it's just a sample i want to show because i'm using the volume here as a variable uh, if you don't want to set a variable you can define the uh, you know, value directly here as well db underscore data okay so this is a uh, one way of doing it and uh, you know the uh, as in playbook you al always have tasks right so uh, again i would say like if you are new to engine playbook please have a look my uh, beginner tutorial on playbook where i explained you clearly on how the playbook has to be written okay so we have a task here for a playbook which says launch mysql uh, database container right and i'm using uh, a docker container um, uh, here and i'm going to define the name of the container as db and the image as uh, mysql and the version as 5.7 right so if you are going to use a different image you can insert that as well and the volume i'm going to map it to warlib uh, mysql okay and i'm going to set uh, you no know, restart true for the container and uh, I'm setting some environment bit, uh, variable because the database needs some password, some database has to be created, and uh, you know, uh, some uh, MySQL user and a password and the port, okay? So these are the common uh, commands we use in the Docker as well, because you know when I create a normal Docker run command for MySQL, you'll be using these uh, variables there as well, okay? 
So I just set some uh, password here and some database name and some uh, uh, DB user and its password for that. Okay. And I'm setting the port uh, from the host machine as 33306. Uh, you can use 3306 as well. But I just kept it a little bit bigger. So uh, if this port is already used by some other uh, uh, no program, I don't want to get into some conflict. So I've just kept a different port in the host machine. Okay. So this is the uh, overall uh, playbook. So what I'm going to do is uh, no, I'm just going to copy this playbook uh, and I'm going to create a playbook file here. Okay. So let me go to my uh, home and I have a folder called Ansible playbook. Okay. And uh, I, I'm going to create uh, a file called MySQL Docker .yaml file. Okay. And I'm going to paste this uh, uh, Ansible uh, YAML file which I written in the uh, no, um, Sublime Text Editor. Okay, if you're using a different editor, no problem. You can use whichever editor you want, or you want to write it directly here, you can do that as well. Okay, so I have saved it here. I'm going to save this file. Okay, so now I want to run the playbook in this machine. Okay, so I'm going to use Ansible playbook okay so our ansible playbook uh, uh, this is the command and then we have to call the uh, yaml file okay so i'm going to uh, tell ansible playbook to run this yaml file uh, so let me run it let's see what it does so you can see the uh, things which we have set there okay so it's uh, running the mysql database as docker container and it's gathering the information and you can see it's changed right so it say is uh, changed one now let me go to my other machine and if i go to docker ps to check the what are the containers running you can see there is a container running now right and you see the port is the 33060 uh, right uh, 33306 which we have set from host and uh, 3306 uh, on the container okay so you, and the db name is db right so uh, it, it is uh, that simple like we created a ansible playbook uh, on the uh, ansible machine and when, when when we run it it created the container on the docker uh, host okay so what you can do is if you want to have uh, create uh, to create this on multiple machine you can add more into the host file so this uh, with single command you will be able to create multiple containers on uh, multiple machines okay so i just want to show you like uh, how we can automate the docker container creation that's uh, just for that you know as an example i've used mysql you can use other uh, containers uh, create other containers as well so but you just need to change the image and also change the settings uh, relevant to that uh, container okay so that's all uh, i just want to show you so i will share uh, all these details in the video description of uh, you know, uh, in this video like what is the github location what is the previous videos on ansible uh, you can go through it how to set up Ansible or how to set up Docker. You can go through those uh, videos as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, I would like to thank you for watching. So kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.